robotics. Let's take a look. The fourth industrial revolution is upon us and children should not be left behind as they will play a big part of it. Africa Teen Gig is a Joburg-based non-governmental organization that teaches children from disadvantaged communities on the basics of computer use and robotics. Mugelani Keswa believes preparation towards the fourth industrial revolution begins in the classroom. We are here today to actually show them how to program a robot and actually build a robot so they can learn how to do that and be able to take advantage and position themselves for the forthcoming industrial revolution. It is said that the fourth industrial revolution has the potential to change markets, shift global perspective and translate the true value of technology. And for the pupils at Tatani Primary School, exposure to technology will equip them to be part of this revolution. School principal Irene Madiba says, although most of the kids come from poor homes where their parents don't work, it is her mission to prepare them for the future. By inviting these people to our schools, we are trying to expose our learners to, to the modern world, mm. to know there are many jobs available for them. Times have changed, everyone has a chance to, to better himself or herself in life, to make something out of his or her life. So by inviting them, just to show them how the technology works, though we have the technology subject, taught at school, but to see, to have the apparatus, the instruments, that will in inspire them. Back into the classroom, pupils organize themselves into groups of three with an instruction book to create a robot. Basically the end product here is this robot here that they're going to use to solve a couple of missions that we have designed for them, right? And these are the pieces that, are, that they're going to be using in order to build this end product right over here. And this book gives them a step-by-step -step detail which helps them to to, to build this robot so and shows them how to put it together. So what's going to happen once the robot is done? Once the robot is done, they're going to program the robot using the computer, which is, which is always a fine exercise because some of them have never seen a, a, a used rather a, a computer before. So it's always a fine exercise for them to program the robot and actually use a laptop. They're going to program the robot to complete the missions that have been designed for them. I asked Principal Madiba how we can get more pupils and schools sensitized to the importance of technology. The problem is that the teachers are not well trained. If more time can be given, or just a period of a year or two for teachers to be trained, definitely we can produce good results. And for these bright minds and future leaders, a good old hearty love for them access to resources and a safe place to learn is all they'll need to lead the rest of us to the next revolution. Diabo Seto, SAPC News, Johannesburg.